The women's tennis team has had a year to think, a year to dwell on missing the postseason last year after making the playoffs for five straight seasons. Cal Poly channeled those thoughts into a 5-3 and three conference record this year, which was more than enough to get it into the playoffs. However, if the Broncos wish to advance in the postseason, they'll have to go through a tough road. In the first round of regional Saturday at San Diego, Cal Poly faces conference champion UC San Diego, which has already beaten it twice this season. Although the Tritons are an intimidating opponent, head coach Sandy Kriesel is not about to have the Broncos back down. Uh, one thing that San Diego does well is they walk on the court expecting to win. We've got to walk onto that court expecting to win that match. Cal Poly is just about the only group expecting a Bronco victory. But the Broncos don't mind if the Tritons look past them. I'm sure they are. They've already beaten us twice. Yeah. I wouldn't blame them if they did. Yep. We're but the underdog. We're yeah. definitely the underdog. And sometimes that has its advantages because yeah. they're already looking past us. So. Beating UC San Diego will not be an easy task. The Tritons have won 48 consecutive matches against conference opponents, including nine straight against the Broncos. You know, they're a really good team, and it's not that we can't beat them. We just need to be on and ready to play and confident in what we can do. However, while the Broncos believe UCSD is looking past them to the next round of the playoffs, they also can't help but think about their next destination should they pull off the upset. You're really looking forward to going to Hawaii if you... <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> we didn't get to go last year, so definitely want to try and make it this year. Yeah. Cal Poly will see it the third time is the charm that sends it to Hawaii for the regional semifinal. Michael Zavala for The Post.